Hi, Mark the Snake Hunter here, and in my hand is a venomous red belly black snake. Now, quite distinctive, they've got the shiny black back, and of course the red or pinkish white belly. These snakes typically grow to about 1.8 meters, however, a 10 kilogram specimen um, was once found in Queensland recently. These snakes tend to not to try to bite you, however, if severely provoked, they may headbutt you and eventually bite. These snakes are patchily distributed across Melbourne and are found in areas with good water supplies such as rivers, creek banks, swamps, rainforests and dams. If bitten, symptoms include severe local pain, headache, nausea, diarrhea, swelling and a feeling of general sickness. Its venom contains powerful myotoxins as well as procoagulants and anticoagulant toxins. One final point I'd like to make about the red-bellied black snake. Even though they're not typically endemic to Melbourne, I am finding them patchily distributed across different suburbs. They can arrive by car, on the back of trucks, or for different reasons they end up in the Melbourne. While other snake catchers may tell you that red belly blacks aren't local to the area, the fact is that they're showing up and they're a snake that you need to be aware of. The next snake that we're going to talk about is the Eastern Tiger Snake, which is very common in Melbourne. So, here we go. So here we are, tiger snake in a compost bin, and that's actually quite a very common occurrence. Eastern tiger snakes, they love to hang around compost because you often find mice there. This is the fifth most venomous snake in the entire planet, and as you can see, they can grow quite large. This in fact is not actually a big tiger snake. Eastern tiger snakes have developed a bad reputation for having a temper. However, it's not the case. They'll almost always try to flee, but they will flare out their neck and sometimes do a mock strike towards you. If severely harassed or provoked, they can bite. If bitten, the venom from the tiger snake is extremely dangerous to humans. And because the tiger snake coloration and pattern assist them in hiding really well in the grass or scrub, be very careful when walking outside, even in your own backyard. I have caught tiger snakes everywhere you can imagine. This includes behind curtains of a retirement village, underneath refrigerators, behind dishwashers, in a washing machine, in kitchen cupboards, car engines, garages, schools, underneath TV units, underneath beds, and in en-suites. This is the lowland copperhead, which is very commonly found in different parts of Melbourne, particularly around any area where there is water. The lowland copperhead, it can actually look quite similar to a red belly black, and is often mistaken for it. The lowland copperhead is not likely to try and attack you. It is more likely to want to just get away from you. However, if provoked, they can deliver a fatal blow. Copperheads can come in a variety of different colors. As you see, this one's very dark and it actually has a red, ba red band down its side. Copperheads can have potentially fatal venom. It contains pre and postsynaptic neurotoxins, which affect your neurological system and cause it to shut down. It also contains myotoxins and hemotoxins. Symptoms can include local pain at the bite site, swelling, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, paralysis, and if untreated, possibly death. So I have a very different looking copperhead here in my hands now. Copperheads vary significantly in color, shape, and size. This one's a much lighter version of the snake. I've found orange colors, copperhead colors. Um, I've also found yellow and reddish copperheads as well. So no two seem to be alike to me. The important thing to understand is if you come across any snake in Melbourne, assume that it is venomous, do not touch it, and make sure you call the snake hunter. The next snake that we're going to be dealing with will be the Eastern Brown Snake, which is the second most venomous snake in the world and the most dangerous snake that you'll come across in Victoria. The Eastern Brown Snake is responsible for more snake bite fatalities and more snake bites than any other snake in Australia. This is the second most venomous snake in the entire planet. Though it's got a very small head and very small fangs, and it only delivers a small amount of venom, the venom that it does deliver is extremely potent. Another interesting fact about the Eastern Brown Snake, as you can see, they're a very long, thin kind of snake. They can easily fit underneath doorways and can quite easily access your house. Eastern Brown Snakes are typically a uniform brown color on the back <clears throat> and have a creamy underbelly. However, I have found gray and black versions of the Eastern Brown Snake. Under no circumstances should you try to engage with one. 
They're extremely formidable, very, very fast, and very agile. Bats and brown snakes are found usually during the day, however, in very hot weather, are active during the night. While only delivering small amounts of venom, it is extremely potent and life-threatening. The fangs of an eastern brown snake are small, so visible signs of a, of a bite may not be present. Any contact between an eastern brown and your bare skin should be treated as a life-threatening emergency. One last point about the eastern brown snake. I've caught snakes in Australia and overseas in Pakistan as well. Very dangerous snakes, very large ones, fast, and all different kinds of venomous snakes. The eastern brown is one of the most difficult to deal with when they're large, hot, fast moving, and not in a good mood. While snakes are all, are all shy, the eastern brown is one you definitely do not want to engage with under any circumstances whatsoever. One bite, and within 30 minutes, you could have a cardiac arrest and your life could be over. Now there are more snakes in Melbourne than just the tiger, brown, lowland copperhead, and red belly black. We also have the white lip snake, the small eyed snake, and the little whip snake as well. But these snakes aren't frequently encountered, they're either nocturnal or people just don't see them. Every snake in Melbourne is venomous. The snakes that we've covered today are the big ones that you're more likely to come across so you have a better understanding of snake identification and what these snakes are about. Make sure if you see one, you don't try to touch it yourself. Don't try to be a hero. This is a time to be safe. Give the snake hunter a call. I'll come out and take the snake away for you. Be sure to follow us on social media at Snake Hunter Oz, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And I look forward to meeting you in person.